Hello there, you're watching Project Geometry on YouTube, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an origami herringbone tessellation. This model is made up of the same step that is repeated over and over again to give it the pattern that is so alluring to look at. Not only that, but the model also handles like an accordion, which can be quite addicting to flex in and out. This tessellation can be made at any size, but the smaller the folds, the more difficult it is and the more time it takes. Let's start off this model with a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and begin by folding it in half horizontally. Make sure all your creases are sharp, as it will make later steps that much easier. Now let's divide the model in fourths by folding up both edges into the center. Follow a similar process to divide the model into eighths. Now let's flip the model over and divide it into sixteenths while folding into an accordion in the process. Do this by folding up the bottom edge and then folding back along the existing crease. Repeat until you're finished and it's obvious you should stop. You should now have something that looks like this. Now fold up the top corner and crease it in both directions. When you open it up, your pattern of folds should look like this. Inside or you first fold each point using the existing creases. Now fold up the tail of the model and again crease it on both sides. This is the most difficult step, so don't feel discouraged if you don't get it at first. We're going to open up the model and run down the length of it, reversing the direction of each fold as we go. At the same time, manipulate the left edge to accommodate for the folds that we just made.
Now we're going to repeat that same process to make another layer. I'll show it again, this time using a slightly different method in case you're still confused. Now we're going to repeat this same cycle over and over until the project is finished. If you were able to make it this far, then congratulations! If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions for a future video, leave a comment below.